Antarctica's Weddell Sea, image Jeff Schmaltz Lansiostis Rapid Response Jesse Allen as a hole as large as Lake Superior or the state of Maine has opened up in Antarctica, and scientists aren't sure why it's there. The gigantic, mysterious hole is quite remarkable, atmospheric physicist Kent Moore, a professor at the University of Toronto's Mississauga campus, told me over the phone. It looks like you just punched a hole in the ice. An image of the hole in the sea ice. Image modus aqua via NASA worldview sea ice contours from AMSR to a sea via University of Bremen areas of open water surrounded by sea ice, such as this one, are known as Polynius. They form in coastal regions of Antarctica, Moore told me. What's strange here, though, is that this Polynia is deep in the ice pack, he said, and must have formed through other processes that aren't understood. This is hundreds of kilometers from the ice edge. If we didnt have a satellite, we would know it was there. It measured 80,000 k at its peak. A Polynia was observed in the same location, in Antarctica's Weddell Sea, in the 1970s, according to Moore, who's been working with the Southern Ocean Carbon and Climate Observations and Modeling SOCCOM Group, based at Princeton University, to analyze what's going on. Back then, scientists' observation tools weren't nearly as good, so that hole remained largely unstudied. Then it went away for four decades, until last year, when it reopened for a few weeks. Now it's back again. This is now the second year in a row it's opened after 40 years of not being there, Moore said. It opened around September 9th. We're still trying to figure out what's going on. Read more deep diving robots will plunge 16,000 feet to monitor the ocean abyss. It's tempting to blame this strange hole on climate change, which is reshaping so much of the world, including Antarctica. But Moore said that's premature. Scientists can say with certainty, though, that the Polynia will have a wider impact on the oceans. Once the sea ice melts back, you have this huge temperature contrast between the ocean and the atmosphere, Moore explained. It can start driving convection. Denser, colder water sinks to the bottom of the ocean, while warmer water comes to the surface, which can keep the Polynia open once it starts, he said. Using observations from satellites and deep-sea robots, Moore and his collaborators are working on a site on published research that aims to answer some of these questions. Compared to 40 years ago, the amount of that we have is amazing, he said. Antarctica is undergoing massive changes right now, and figuring out why a gaping hole could suddenly open up will be key to understanding larger systems at play. Get six of our favorite motherboard stories every day by signing up for our newsletter.